Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Slapside. And first and foremost, I just want to thank everybody that subscribed. The new subscribers were closing in at 4,200 subscribers. And to me, it's not about the numbers. It's more about just, you know, delivering some gameplay to you guys. And and for me, you know, just to look back at and laugh at, you know. Um, I like to just post up stuff for the hell of it. And if you don't like it, it's all good, you know. It doesn't really bother me. I just want to, you know, look back at it and study my own gameplay and become a better Call of Duty player. But, you know, all that being said, uh, I just want to say that Morocco is a pretty darn shitty map. Uh, I don't like this map at all. It's uh, a map with a lot of corners, and it's bad if they're campers. But in this gameplay, I was able to um, get in their spawn. As you can see on my A flag right now with, with uh, Crash and... I was able to just get in their spawn on this right side and it was cool, you know, I was able to control that part of the map and they kept spawning and they were, um, they were like oblivious, you know, they weren't really catching on to me being on this side of the map on the right side. It's like they were one dimensional. Um, uh, shout out to my boy Nexus. He always talks about players being one dimensional, you know, once you figure out their tendencies and you figure out their, um, you know, their habits, you can take that away from them and it, <laughs> you can really exploit enemies, you know, you just got to know how your enemy plays. Um, the reason why I stayed in this lobby was because obviously I saw the matchup. I was like, wow, these guys are newbies, you know, and I was like, I got to take advantage of this uh, lobby. <laughs> but right here, I get a little scared. I should have uh, played a little more aggressive, but I really hate it when someone's head glitching and I'm on the lower um, part. Like, I hate it when they have high ground. It just, you know, it's an advantage for them. So I don't really um, challenge stuff like that. But um, honestly, guys, with the patch, you know, going on with the score streaks being a lot more um, higher, you know, a lot more higher. Uh, a lot more higher score like it's higher it's a lot harder to attain um i say you guys should go with spy plane lightning strike to the sniper nest the sniper nest is really cheap now and and the mantis is actually really expensive now so um the mantis is a, it's a good streak but honestly guys just use a sniper nest um this gameplay just proves that the sniper nest is a dominant um air uh, air air kill streak aerial kill streak. I don't know, man, guys. I'm a little buzzing right now. I drink a little bit of whiskey, so bear with me on the commentary. Um, I'm not going to be at my A game right now. I might actually like mumble a couple of words. I might <laughs> just mess up on this commentary, but I just want to have fun with it, and I just want to say thank y'all, man. I mean, you guys pushed me to be a better uh, content creator on this game. Uh, I know right here I am camping, but you got to understand the situation. I'm like 26 and 0. You know, I got that 26 and 0. When, when, you have, when you're when you 26 and 0, you kind of go into a more defensive-minded uh, uh, game, uh, game, you know? Like, you, your mindset becomes more defensive for some reason. But right here, I was kind of mad about that. I wish I got those kills. Um, shout out to my boy Dillinger right here. Dillinger, we go all the way back to Call of Duty 5, which is uh, World at War. That's when, when um, I started playing Domination. And, you know, big shout out to Dillinger, man. You know, still rocking and rolling with us, Thor Clan. Big shout out to my boy J2. Big shout out to Evo in here. Evo was in here too. And just everybody that was in this, um, this party. Um, without you guys, obviously, I wouldn't get this gameplay because, you know, the way you guys were taking care of certain parts of the map, you guys were able to lock it down and make it easier for me to lock down this part of the map. But, you know, this first round was really dominant. It was really, really dominant, but it was like passive aggressive, you know? So I was kind of mad about that. Like looking back at the gameplay, I mean, I wouldn't change it for anything. Like, I, I you know, I respect this gameplay. I like it, you know, like the guys are just taking down stuff. I'm shooting them, I'm shooting them up. And this guy right here, I wish I got that kill right there, but I was pretty low on bullets and I'm getting pinched right here. Ah, oh, man, that sucks right there. Cause I got the guy, but then I get sniped. See, they got smart. See, usually what happens is when they start catching on to your um, game plan, if you're in an area too long, say you get like, 15 kills in an area you need to um start migrating you need to start moving to a different part of the map because they're gonna start telling their buddies that we got to get this guy he's just been in this um on this part of the map so you know i should be 40 you know i'm really pissed about that but <laughs> hey it's all good you know next round we just get a couple sniper nests um sniper nests kill streaks uh we're, we're just gonna go hard on that because you know, now that I know I'm not going to get the nuke, I'm just going to go full on aggression. So this was a cool um, gameplay just because of that. The fact that I, the first round I was going to, uh, passive and just trying to get my kill streaks, play it all, you know, safe for the nuclear. But then the second round, we just start going, you know, balls deep. We start really pushing the pace, you know, like really uh, up in the tempo. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the second round. You know, this gameplay was pretty cool. It's only 85 kills, but, you know, it's 5v5. Um, it's kind of hard to break the um, 80s or the 100s unless you're playing like Newtown and stuff like that. So um, just, you know, 
being on Morocco, that was a plus, you know, because Morocco is such a shitty map. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to connection. And it's going to come down to who you're matched up against. If you play a bunch of scrubs, you know, they're going to get owned. But, you know, look at this. They can't even touch me, man. You know, like, it's crazy. Right there, I don't know why it kind of cut out right there. That was kind of weird. But anyways, um, you can see my sniper nest. Like I said, this thing is a monster. You guys need to start rocking with a sniper nest if you're not. Um, you know, we've been using it for a while. It's real easy to get. And the Hellstorm, I love the Hellstorm, you know. It's just something that that helps, you know. Like, when you're playing Domination, they're about to hit B-Flag. You just hit them with the uh, Hellstorm, you know. Keep in your pocket and then, you know, take them all out. But we get another Sniper Nest, as you can see. And we're just pretty much going in, man. I mean, this was pretty good gameplay. Um, I'm still looking for that gameplay where I'm just super hyped about. Like, honestly, I'm not too hyped about this gameplay. It's actually older gameplay, but... The things I, I enjoy a lot now when I uh, make videos is montages, like making a montage. So um, be on the lookout for our next montage. I got a couple clips from my um, clan members. Uh, they're going to send me some. So we're going to have a really nice montage coming up. Uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the last one. Uh, we're going to try and make this one a lot more, you know, hotter than the previous. But right here, yeah, we're just going in. You know, I, I told myself, I said, I'm not getting the nuke. So let's, let's just, you know, keep it keep it real high tempo let's get um 80 kills maybe a 90 and just keep it moving i just really want to show this to you guys and tell you that the the kn or the ak is starting to be the meta in this game it seems like every Treyarch game they try to make the the ak the meta like if you look back at black ops 1 the ak 47 with dual mags was was a monster man i, I used to melt with that and then in black ops 2 the kn 94 was a meta and you know and then Black Ops 3, the, the AK was good, so um, honestly, the AK is always going to be that gun that they want to make good in, on, on Treyarch uh, games. But look at this sniper nest, guys. It's just popping off, man. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry about the commentary. It might be a little weird on it because I'm a little tipsy right now. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving, man. And, you know, hit that like button. It means a lot to your boy. And hit that subscribe button if you are new. Um, you know, anything you guys need about to know about this game, if you want to know any more tips, just hit up my live stream and you can talk to me there. I'm starting to live stream a lot more and I really appreciate it when you guys stop by on the live streams and just say hello. We're going to try and, you know, upscale and make, get better um, quality and try and get like, Elgato and all that. I'm working on it. So we go 85 and 8, not too shabby. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.